Hello guys and seven blessings to you. Today I'm here to present you one of the variations I will propose you for night watch. My first variation is a simple footman. And the garb is for the night watch so everything has to be black, of course. It's one of the basics. The costume is composed of a pair of boots, black boots with buckles, brass buckles on the sides, you have a trouser, a black trouser with wool hosen over it for the warmth. You have here on the top a black shirt and also covering it because you can't see it. You have a black gambeson. This gambeson is quite long going up down to the knee from the neck to the knee. Long sleeve there and you have there a scarf as well because we are in the north of Westeros so this kind of details would matter. This scarf is made out of wool and there is uh, a fishbone pattern in it. Perhaps it's really hard to see but there is a pattern in there because I don't want to have always some dull black fabric all around. And this is quite thick and warm and this one has been very useful when I was out for my shooting the last time. For basic footman we want something which is basic and efficient. This is why I brought here a large shield, a large black shield. With this kind of shape, you see, it will be very well protected. Uh, it's basically an infantry shield that you could find uh, about uh, classical uh, middle ages. And there is not anything fancy about it. In the back, there is the different straps there. I know the padding and black, so the, that was my first Cordoyan shield. And you have here a piece that is very interesting. The gauge here, this trap can hear and help to use your shield. See there, my push with the arm forward and the shield come off helping in the process of protecting myself and also it relieves a part of the weight on my arm to the other shoulder to my body itself this is why the gauge is really a part of the shield that could be very handy and I learn I learned with time to love it when it's well placed it's really efficient at uh, doing this little thing. And it does help a lot. Well, it does help a lot to have also a proper gambeson that's, that's on me. So, here, yeah. the shield is what would bring the more protection for, the, for this kind of fighter without having to invest in a lot, a lot of metal in a lot of steel to protect your body and of course with that you'll have some basic weapons like an axe a bearded axe like this would be as well as good as a tool and as good also to defend yourself it's not too heavy but it can cleave through someone without any problem and I have also the, the curve here and the length so you can hack through your opponent if you came too close and this will be something that won't require that much steel and we are talking here about the night watch where they have not not a lot of uh, don't have a lot of resources but they they make with what, what could be done and also it's not a, a weapon that requires 
years of mastery. So that could be something really good for the footman. But that would mean that you are close to your opponent. This is why I always prefer to think about some range, some distance between you and what's in the front. That's why I do believe the spear is once more when you go to war, when you have to defend the place, when you have to defend yourself and your comrade. The spear is a good idea. And here you have simple spear, good steel. It's much more simple than other one because you don't have here a butt at the end, at the back. Just the shaft and the head there. But still, it could be very efficient. Both in different positions can up. And that. If you have to drop the spear because perhaps the opponent is too close or it just it did break, it's easy to switch to an axe like this. Could be an axe, perhaps even a mace would do, and it's easy to carry here just on the belt with a steel ring or could be a brass ring, a ring physically. Easy to remove and also. Easy to bring back. And now about the armor, because we saw the weapons that I proposed. And now for the protection. You have of course there a gun biz. But we can have some little things to add to this. Of course one of the basic things when you are up that up north on Westeros. Well, pair glows. That could be handy if you just have to resist the cold. If you have to work or fight, a pair of gloves could be paramount. And if you want more protection, of course, here, yeah, this chainmail could be in the pair of mitts, which are covered, padded and covered in chainmail, could be good. Especially because you can have perhaps just one on the right hand, and the left one will be protected by the shield, and this one would be there a bit more exposed to your opponent to your foe and this protection would be helpful because perhaps your end would be a bit out of your shield perhaps there's a little opening and the end is really something that could break easily and remove you from the battlefield easily so protection there is really what would perhaps come in the first choices. And one point concerning the chainmail here. All the chainmail on this glove have been rifted simply because if you want something efficient with chainmail, it has to be rifted. It's just a, a no go. If you don't have rift chainmail, it will just break by using it. You don't even need to be hit to break sometimes so yeah with rivets it's actually what we'll find in the middle ages uh, up to the modern era and as the, uh, the song of ice and fire seems to inspire itself a lot uh, on the on our own history and uh, the middle ages the late middle ages and uh, beginning of uh, the modern era, the renaissance, uh, I do think that this kind of gun plate could be as well a good idea for the, once again, for protect your hand when you have to, once again, fight your opponent back on the wall. That could be something. Once again, it depends on the background of the different guys that will be 
up on the wall, but why not have some steel glows like this? I don't see the, the problem in here, it's just have the black glows and perhaps you can even blacken the steel because here it's all shiny and everything but you can paint it and you can blacken it so it will be even uh, better for uh, you know the, to fit the to fit the background of the night watch and I don't believe that this kind of thing could go well let's say for ranger because you have to be discreet and stuff like that so still a no way but if you are fighting from a castle on the wall, yes, this could perhaps be one of the choices you would have. And for the helmet, if you want something which would look like a bit of a vintage, to so have this kind of shape, it's simple to produce. Yeah, and you recognize the shape. Well, of course, it's a classical shape in during the medieval ages. This classical shape was at first for knights, but hey. Why not? It's simple to produce. Uh, well, you can see quite well and breathe quite well with that. But according to the inspiration we'll find in this uh, kind of events, kind of universe, this kind of shape would perhaps be better. Something like a salad there. Because the shape is much more like what we'll find during the the late Middle Ages. Well, this one would probably need a bit of padding added already well, to what I already put in there, but you get the idea about the shape. Another salad that I have here to present. Well, this shape is. Uh, much better for my head, you'll see. And once again, concerning the inspiration for the, the Game of Thrones, for the Song of Ice and Fire, this, uh, this shape is perhaps better. Like that, see? The advantage with this uh, kind of uh, helmet is simple. You see well, you breathe well, and the shape is good also to protect your face, your head, not the face, but the head there. And if you have the technology, the knowledge, this is the worst thing to produce. It's, uh, it's not an horrible and complicated shape at all. There we go. In full gear, this is what it would look like. And see, well, if I go a bit out there, it's still to see oh the the glow is complete. The shield, just in case. The helmet, I can throw the protection there protect my head from opponents I think it won't be so expensive to produce such a gear and it still has a lot of efficiency in it it's a big stuff, a mix of many things it, this isn't historical at all but it could work well anyways and I do think it would suit those fighters on the wall I hope you enjoyed this first costume concerning the Night Watch. There will be two other to follow, an archer and a ranger. So keep in touch, subscribe, follow me on other social network. I hope you enjoyed and it will give you some inspiration, some ideas for your own gear. See you guys, have a great day.